Draylin was arrested on Tuesday after a high-speed chase, and Honey Boo Boo was in the passenger seat. The report stated that the driver ran one car off the highway as it continued to gain speed. The car was allegedly stopped after the police pulled the pit maneuver. Cops say they found drugs and an unlicensed firearm in his car. Draylin was arrested for DUI, fleeing police, following too closely, failing to maintain lanes, and speeding. Draylin's bond was set at $25,000. Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Wildflower T and y'all let me tell you what my morning has looked like. Recently, there's been a lot of drama circulated around the Mama June crew, in particular around Alana Thompson, aka Honey Boo Boo, and her boyfriend Draylin. On February 28th, Draylin and Alana were involved in a high-speed cop chase. And although the chase did not last long, allegedly there was one vehicle that got ran off of the road before the cops were able to do some kind of a pit maneuver and bring Draylin's vehicle to a stop. The reason that Draylin ran from the cops is because he knew he had some outstanding warrants. And another passenger in the car by the name of Julian Devon Williams also had some outstanding warrants. Of course, due to this whole situation, Draylin and the passenger did get cuffed and stuffed, but Alana did not have any charges, nor did she receive any within this incident. Well, here I am this morning putting this together for you guys, trying to give you the rundown and give you all the details of what has happened. When I get a notification that pumpkin is live on TikTok. Of course I go and check it out because I've been sitting over here waiting to hear from any of them on this situation and what they have to say. And for the last several days, everyone has been radio silent. Well, let's just say not no more because when I click, I see that pumpkin and Alana are on the screen and they are going hard for Draylon in defending him. They were also going pretty dang hard when it comes to the haters and the trolls in the comment section calling them out. Before you know it, the whole fam family is up there spilling all the tea, honey. And I stayed as long as I could. I recorded as much of it as I could so that I could share it with you guys because I know not everybody has TikTok number one and number two, these live streams a lot of time are not saved after the fact. So I'm real glad that I got it. I do wanna point out my only thing about this whole situation that kind of ticked me off is the fact that Draylon put a lot of people at risk of getting hurt all because he made some mistakes in his life and he didn't want to deal with the consequences. That is extremely reckless behavior and to be honest the way that the girls acted on this live stream was shocking to me. And thank goodness nothing bad happened to Alana in this situation or anyone else for that matter but I can't help but to wonder would they all feel differently if something happened had have happened to her. I'm gonna go ahead and play the clips that I got for you guys. I do wanna say, fair warning, there is a lot of vulgar language in this live stream. He said, fuck you, fuck your badge, fuck everything, I don't give a fuck. That's exactly what Josh said when he pulled up. Literally, they literally put Josh in handcuffs too. These fucking he, cops, he, 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 these cops was so fucking, Crooked. Okay, time I'm sorry, I'm no longer a fan, baby. I don't care. I don't care. At the end of the fucking day, I will still have the most watched TV show on We TV, so I don't give a fuck. 8.30k off in here. And all these folks that these folks be doing on TikTok and shit, and y'all still support the fuck out of them, they do way worse than what Draylon did. I'm trying to tell you, y'all here supporting people who beat women. Dude, who beat, beat Women. It's not just one woman, Holy multiple. Yeah. And y'all worried about Draylon running from the goddamn police. Be for real. And you this man guys, up here snorting cocaine and snorting drugs and stuff on live. Just out here and put another motherfucker at number four yesterday who was damn near giving me pedophile vibes. And y'all out here paying for somebody's drugs and the fucking alcohol they keep Why? drinking on live. Be fucking for real. Somebody said, Alana, but you added it. Look I, it up. I can't say at one point in time I acted like I did sniff cocaine. It was only because I was trying to make a joke out of what my mama does. Because if you want to be here, they support what she did. Like I'm saying, how am I turning into my mama? Because I can tell you right now, girl, they never did no methamphetamines, baby. Justin, Draylon. So how am I turning into my That's mama? Insane. I can keep running y'all's little trap, 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 trap. Baby, at the end of the day, I'm still gonna make my money. Still gonna get my coin. 
<laughs> y'all mad because y'all bum, y'all broken bum ass is sitting on y'all's couch right now, worried about what the fuck Honey Boo Boo got going on. When you need to be up worried about how to make some money, you need to, you need to be worried about how to wash that pussy. You need, you, need to be, pussy. you need to be worried about how to take care of them bad ass raggedy ass kids you got out the fucking front door. Never heard of them. Half of you bitches probably got fucking methamphetamine charges and work at Waffle House. And half of you motherfuckers probably got six different baby daddies. Three of them you don't even really know that you fucked when you was on methamphetamines because you just needed some p fucking dick. Oh my God. Animals here plumbing chasing the dream. Somebody said, I got two kids with one baby daddy. I'm safe. <laughs> Period. Because, baby. I'm free. Did you bitches shower in the comments yet? You smell like the fucking fish fillet from McDonald's. Come on now. Your kids probably got shit all on their face. They're probably sitting in a in a shitty diaper right now. I gave y'all all the tea. You know what I'm saying? Hi. Bitch, I ain't get rid of no nose ring. I ain't pay forty dollars for each one for no reason, baby. Eighty dollars. The police. The police took her nose ring. <laughs> the police took them. The police took them because it was an unregistered nose ring. They got me on two accounts. They got me on two accounts of um unregistered nose rings. Somebody call CPS calling, baby. You want me to call the um director down here or what? You want me to call the director or what? Let me call her for you right now. I'll put her on the line. I can get on the phone. Don't dig in that. Don't dig in that. Yeah, y'all make sure. Go ahead, give CPS a call, baby. Lana, look where you come from. Don't be judging broke people. Bitch, <laughs> don't even get me started on that because I've been famous since I come out of the womb, baby, since I was six. You you tell me how old I am now, baby. Y'all will never be able to make it like me. Trust me. That's what y'all really in the comments mad about that I caught y'all out about being broke. Oh, <laughs> That's y'all mad because y'all the broke ones. <laughs> <coughs> like, come on. Be so for real. They said, who's broke? Well, if you ain't broke, send me a uni. If you ain't broke, make that cash app ding, baby. Y'all talking about why I didn't pay for the ticket? Okay, for one, let's talk about how it wasn't my ticket. Okay, so it wasn't my ticket. So if, why would I pay for a ticket that wasn't even mine? And then for two, when you get a little speed and somebody said they mad, they don't have a mom on, bitch. Be for real. Who mad? My mama back in my life, baby. She over here sending child support every first of the month, baby. Come on. Yeah, right. Your mama's not in your life. If she was, maybe you would have some manners. Bitch, my mama never talked. Let me get her. mama off in the box. Get mama Let me get the mama box. in the box to show y'all. Mama, you tell them the biz. Tell the I look, I ain't even gonna give I ain't even gonna give them my energy right now, okay? Look, we we dealing with more bigger fish to from. Yeah, mama, don't you know that you're not in our life anymore? Who's in? Yeah, I just left there like yesterday after being there for like ten days straight. Yeah, but you're not in our life anymore. Uh, you're not. Well, I mean, I just left there from being there 10 days straight. I'm coming back Thursday. Somebody said turn probably your camera like, off. No, baby, throw the union, then I'll turn the camera on, baby. <laughs> because I'm riding. I'm riding. Because, you know, I got to do that weekly drug screens that, you know, I'm th over three years clean that I, you know, I'm pissing this cup every week for. That's where I'm headed to. So, like, y'all see we trying to get our life back on track. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I'm piecing a piss in my cup that I go piss in weekly that I've been clean for over three years straight. Put your life on the track. Exactly. <laughs> so I said, get Sugar Bear in the box. Okay, now we don't fuck with him. No, we don't fuck with him. First of all, I wasn't saying that any of my fans was broke. Uh, we're not saying that. I'm saying the broke ass haters are broke. Yeah. Broke ass haters. Get out of the camera. Oh, here we go. There goes Draylon from the jail cell. <laughs> this is wait, wait, let me tell you, let me tell you. This is a collect call coming from Draylon, an inmate at the county jail. A collect call, y'all. Right. I just had to do it because the way he looked on the background. I'm sorry. Uh, collect <laughs> call. Y'all say hi. He only's got 15 minutes. Y'all up. Uh, uh, anybody would like right. to put money on Draylon's books? I'm you can in the rise my cash out. Oh wow. 
Okay, I'm guys, I'm just going to drug it. test, so y'all going to talk to Justin. Uh, he need, he need, she, he needs some commentary. So I mean, yeah. whatever y'all can see him. As you can see, Alana and the whole crew just made a whole bunch of jokes about this situation, and I personally don't find anything funny about putting other people's lives at risk. While yes, I get that it probably gets old having to listen to the haters and the trolls all the time, and of course you're going to want to fire back and defend yourself. At the same time, they came off so raunchy in this live stream, y'all. I clipped so much of it out because it was that bad, but I did want to share this with y'all. I would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. When Mama June was asked what her thoughts was on this whole situation, all she would say is she was going to let Alana speak on it. She wasn't going to talk about it, which I think is the best response you could give in a situation like this but based off of what alana is saying you guys she just doesn't seem to take it serious whatsoever let me know your thoughts and opinions down below also if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up sorry the audio is a little off but i wanted to get this out to you guys as soon as possible thank you all so much for tuning in i appreciate you to the moon and stars and until my next one bye y'all